Oh, <laughs> there it goes. What is up, YouTube HBJ here, and I'm coming at you guys because I'm taking a look at the long-awaited BT7, BT17, not BT7, BT17 for the Digimon trading card game. So I'm actually taking a look at the Japanese website, and what I'm going to do is actually break this up into multiple videos because I there's multiple content uh, for each particular group of Digimon that I'm going to be taking a look at. I do apologize because I think one of my headphones is dying and I think the other one isn't. I'm not sure but I am going to do my best to try to mitigate as much sound as I can. If not I'll just try to switch it into a different pair of headphones if anything. So um, we're taking a look at VT7's cards. VT17's cards. Sorry why do you saying VT7? No one cards from VT7? I probably do. Or maybe it's because of the fact that this video is going to be focusing on the Tamers um, and the hybrids from Digimon Frontier. So, I forgot that BT-17 was coming out. I am not going to lie. And I want to be very honest. I don't know if I really have much of the energy to want to focus on this. But maybe I do. And the crazy thing also about this is that this is not the... We're going to see more of these Digimon from that are you know the hybrids and stuff we're gonna see them again later on in the year because we're gonna get a whole nother set dedicated to combining BT-17 and BT-18 I mean, BT and BT-19 together so you're gonna see elemental um elemental supporters together with I forget what BT-18 is I think BT-18 is elemental supporters so whatever BT-19 was supposed to be 18 and 19 in its international release are going to be put together. So you're going to see more card support for Agunimon in them in that set. So I don't know the 100 legit um, statistics for everything because I don't have it all mapped out. I just know that I did a video um, earlier in the, not this month, but last month to talk about Kazemon in them in the set. So now that I know that you know, there's going to be stuff for a Goonimon in them. I definitely want to take a look at those as well. Because it's not fair to just look at one deck that I played where I literally have played both a Goonimon and Kazemon in their own respective decks. And then once uh, BT-18 comes out, then we're going to have potentially the chances of red and yellow being... I mean, Zoe Hybrid, Takuya Hybrid, which is still red hybrid, but now it's red and purple hybrid. But you, you get what I mean. Like, Takuya and Zoe can be one deck together. Or you can mix Zoe's cards that are red and green with even some of JP's red, uh, JP's green cards. And even some of uh, Takuya's red cards. And then get a whole flow of them together. I, I don't know how people are going to manage that. But it's just a weird combination of things on their ends. But I want to take a look at this. I'm already m m minutes deep into it, so let's go ahead and get to it. So the first Digimon we're going to be looking at is Flamemon. So Flamemon, of course, is a level three hybrid um, red, red and red card who can digivolve off of a red and purple Digitama for a cost of zero. Its uh, ability is that on play, you can reveal the top two cards of your deck to add one hybrid or one tin warriors traded card and one Digimon Tamer with an inheritable effect among them to your hand and it will place the rest at the bottom of your deck in any order. As inheritable is that on deletion you can play one Tamer with an inheritable effect from your hand without playing, paying the Digivolution cost. So this is basically what a typical Flame Mon does for Takuya's decks or for Red Hybrid is they're hard on plays, they allow you to search and retrieve your pieces and then when they're used for the inheritables they're basically there to just put more Takuya's on from the field, from your hand onto the field. It's a simple process of, of how that deck works, but this is a really good card to start off with, especially when it's like your turn one plays, because nice hard once per turn, or nice hard play cards like this is definitely what helps Red Hybrid speed itself up. And then with Digitama, like Yokomon, or even uh, Koromon, you still benefit from their effects, even if they're going to be destroyed. So, you do get a. You, this is a really good starting point, monster. So now we're going to go into a Goonimon. So Goonimon is rocking dual color, purple and red, hybrid, um, level four, with five k DP. Digivolves off of a red or purple Digimon for the cost of three. 
For his Digivolution, you can Digivolve this Digimon off of a Takuya Kanabara for the cost of 2, or a Burning Greymon for the cost of 1. You may Digivolve this Digimon from your hand in, onto a Red Tamer, and treat that Red Tamer as a level 3 Digimon. When Digivolving, if Burning Greymon is in this card's Digivolution sources, you may have a, or have a Red or Green Digimon, or a Tamer, this Digimon may Digivolve into an Ancient Greymon from your hand, for a Digivolution cost of 3, ignoring its Digivolution requirements. If Digivolved by this effect, delete this Digimon at the end of this turn. Um, for its Inheritable, this Digimon gains plus 2k DP. So basically, it's a Warp Digivolution into Ancient Greymon. Um, with a quick, easy Digivolution onto either a Burning Greymon or a Takuya Kanabara. And I like how this new Takuya is is it's just another fitting addition to the Takuya lineup so it's just a pretty standard Digimon it's a pretty standard warp into Ancient Greymon uh, which I believe there is another Agunimon that has done that I don't know if it's from BT7 or it's from BT12 it might be somewhere in between there as well but it's another standard warp Digivolve into this big Digimon but an easy access into Digivolutions on top of cards so you can at least draw into more of your pieces when you need it. And it's a dual color so you can play it into purple decks as well if you need a hybrid with quick, fast, and a hurry. There is a purple hybrid Digimon, if I'm not mistaken, the Digimon that represents the dark at the dark uh, attribute, uh, Lobo, Lobemon is one, if I'm not mistaken. Him, Deskmon, um, I forget what the other Digimon is, the Beast Spirit, Voltramon, and um kaiser leo mine so yeah all right then we're going to move on into burning Greymon, known in uh the japanese version as vitramon so it's another hybrid yellow red and purple digimon that uh 6k dp digivolves on top of a level three digimon that's purple or red for a cost of three. But Digivolves on top of Takuya Kanabara or Agunimon. Uh, for Takuya, it's a two cost, for Agunimon is a one. You may Digivolve this card from your hand onto one of your Red Tamers as a level three Digimon. It has the ability Raid, which I forget what Raid does, but someone will let me know in the comment section below. When attacking, if the Digimon may Digivolve into a Digimon with hybrid in its traits from your hand by reducing the Digivolution cost of one. For its inheritable, this Digimon gains 2k DP. So it's Kind of similar to how they played around in, um, was it? Lugamon. And how Lugamon decks were, where, you know, when they swing, they're able to do certain effects based off of certain things. For Burning Greymon, Burning Greymon will be able to digivolve into his hybrid form, or a hybrid card in your hand, uh, at a reduced cost of one when attacking. So, not too bad. And, of course, the standard 2k DP. That's what most of the, um... Spirit of Fire cards do themselves. We're now going to go into Aldamon. Uh, red and purple hybrid Digimon. That AKDP. Digivolves on top of a level 4 Digimon for a cost of 4. Uh, hand. During your main, you may place one Agunimon and Burning Greymon from your trash under one Takuya Kanabara. Uh, and Digivolve that into the Digimon, making it a level 4 red Digimon. For a Digivolution cost of 3. When Digivolving, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 6k DP or less. Uh, inheritable, your turn. When this Digimon has hybrid or team warriors in its trait, it doesn't, uh, what is it? The, it does not activate the security effects of option cards that it checks. So, Aldermon is going to come in as basically a quick Digivolution for a cost of 3. If you have, um... Vitramon and Agunimon already in your trash. This is not the first time because there's another one from a previous set that does this as well. Which most people didn't run because they didn't have an inheritable. I wish I was joking, but no, that's actually true. Most people were not running that um, Aldermon because they did not have an inheritable. It was just a quick play, fit, fast, and hurry. Play this on the Takuya and just swing. But now it has an inheritable where it makes sure that the option cards are not inheritable. Or through ability. So, um, there's already another Aldamon that does it. So now we just have more. <laughs> so when we want to do the Emperor Greymon shot, we have just another one that says, uh, uh, no security effects. So, alright, shout outs to this Aldamon. I like it. Another purple and red. 
Uh, now we're gonna go into, uh, I think it's time for Ancient Greymon, but so now we're gonna have to switch over, um, to the next page. So, where is Ancient, that's Takato, not Takuya. Uh, hold on, I am looking for this right now. Uh, oh, there is an option card, let's look at the option card. So, Ancient Guardian Deity, a blue and red card, uh, ten warriors, um, no digivolution loss, but, uh, Effect. While you have a Tamer or a Digimon with hybrid trait, uh, you may ignore this card's color requirements. You may return one Digimon with 10 Warriors or hybrid in its traits from your trash to your hand. Then you may play one Digimon with 10 Warriors trait or one Tamer with an Inheritable from your hand with a play cost reduction of 4. Security Effect. You may play one Tamer with an inheritable effect from your hand or trash without paying the memory cost, then add this card to your hand. So just a quick way to set up for your ancient Greymon or your ancient Gurumon, uh, depending on which deck you're going to play. I don't know if this is going to have an issue because it's dual color, where do you have to have the purple tap? Do you have to have blue to activate it? Or do you need the... and vice versa, or do you need the both? I'm not too sure with dual colors because most... because the only deck that I played is dual color. So far is Mass Daemon, and even then I don't have that issue because I mostly try to stick to making sure that Mirai is on the field to fit both requirements. So, yeah, that is a very strange one. Like I said, I don't know too particularly. Um, we're on page two, so I believe Takuya is who we're going to be looking at now. Because I'm looking for Burning Greymon, but I don't see... There he is, Burning Greymon. But I believe this is Burning Greymon's parallel rare, right? Yeah. But it doesn't matter. Um, any artwork of this card, you see the ancient warriors of wind, fire, earth, steel, and electricity. Uh, all in the city. So ancient Kazemon, ancient Volcano Mon, ancient Wise Mon, and ancient Beetle Mon. So ancient Grey Mon, dual color, purple, red. Uh, vaccine attribute, ancient dragon, 10 warrior straight, 12k DP. Digiboss off of a red or purple Digimon for the... Level 5 Digimon for the cost of 4. Security attack plus 1. On play when Digivolving. Delete one of your opponent's Digimon who has equal to or less than DP than this card. On deletion, return one Tamer and one hybrid traded Digimon from your trash to your hand. And you may play one Tamer with, from your hand without a, um, without paying the memory cost. Digicross minus 3. A Burning Greymon in Ancient, uh, in a Goonimon, uh, that... When you would play this card, you may place those specific cards uh, from your hand or battle area under this card, uh, placing each one to reduce the cost. So, a Digimon that can Hyper Spirit Digivolve itself through Digicross, while also being able to, on playing when Digivolving, delete an opponent's Digimon with equal to or less than DP than this one, which is not anything surprising because there's a Kaiser Greymon that does this as well. I believe there's an Ancient Greymon prior to this that does this, so just more Ancient Greymon popping. Um, but the deletion effect to return cards and then be able to play the tamer is actually really good because then that just puts more, um, that's recovery plus playability on top of that. This is a really good combination of stuff, I have to honestly say. I'm liking what this H.U. Greymon does. So this is a pretty good, you know, out the park pack. So the only one left is Sukuya himself. With, uh, this is his parallel art rare card because it has the alternate art. But, uh, you may play this card from your, a uh, security effect, you may play this card without paying this memory cost. As a start of your main phase, if your opponent has a Digimon, you may gain one memory. You gain one memory. Uh, Inheritable effect. Your turn, this Digimon gains 2k DP. When this Digimon has 10k DP or more, it gains piercing. So, this is another Takuya that, I'm starting to notice there's a lot of Digimon that do this now, that if your opponent has a Digimon, they'll gain one memory. Fine. But, it's all the additional stuff that I like about this Takuya. It's, um, it's Inheritable, which is the 10k or more DP, then your Digimon gains piercing. Most of the Inheritables of cards are going to increase DP between the Agunimon, the Vitromon, maybe some of the Flamemon. So that's already going to be enough DP given to then be able to be 10k or more and inflict piercing. For those who don't know what piercing is, uh, remember how in Yu-Gi-Oh when you attack the Digimon, 
attack the uh, attack the monster and it was in defense position and then you wouldn't inflict battle damage to your opponent if the diff if your Digimon's attack was higher than the than the defense of your opponent. That's Digimon. When your Yu Gi Oh monster attack was higher than the defense of your opponent's Yu Gi Oh monster, and you would inflict piercing battle damage. That's basically what this is, and that you can attack the security. I am loving this because this is just another Takuya that does this as well. There's so many of these Takuyas that do it, so I think there's only two. I don't know why I said so many, but there's only two. And I think a, a Vitramon does this as well. Well, we know him very new Greymon, but that's for a different video. But um, other than that, no, I am so much feeling these really cool cards. Uh, I honestly think there's just going to be okay improvements. There can be some better, but no, this is actually fine. If it wants to be what it is, just, you know, speed up into Ancient Greymon and go right ahead. Speed up into Ancient Greymon and have fun speeding up into Ancient Greymon because I think, honestly, that's a really cool thing. And now we have a set that helps focus on that Ancient Greymon and even improve some of those improvements. So, let me know what you tamers think about the cards that are in BT7 for, uh, for the Spirit of Fire. Will you be playing the Spirit of Fire? Will you be playing Red Hybrid? Or will you go to Blue Hybrid? Would you like me to do a Blue Hybrid video? Let me know in the comment section below. So, with that said and done, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys appreciate and enjoy the Digimon content that I produce. I work my best to try to give it to you as soon as I can. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, if you guys would like to see more content on the channel, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you guys can be informed of when that content goes up. I'll do my best to try to post it as fast as I can. Social media links are in the description box below because I cannot, you know, so you guys can interact with me there. Thank you guys so much for watching, and HPJ signing out. Take care.